Scott and uh, Mike speak. Then we can kind of converge on it, and we'll be glad to answer any questions you like. Mike, are you? I guess. Thanks, sir. For uh, electric utilities, so much for sedans, which are easier to find in a plug-in hybrid version. But for many years, we've asked our suppliers to build a four-wheel drive extended cab or crew cab truck that had a substantial electric range. We wanted ground clearance and other things as comparable to a four-wheel drive Ford, Chevy, Chrysler truck that we buy today. And it's obvious from looking at the truck here that Workhorse listened to what we had to say as an industry and has put together something very quickly to meet those requirements. They still have a lot of work to do to uh, have that truck ready to put into the marketplace, but the burden's on the Workhorse folks, and I think they're very much behind that to do what they have to do to make this a viable product. Um, thanks, Mike. And that's a good point. I should bring up a couple things. The other thing we wanted to do before I, I hand it over to Scott here is we wanted to make this, in addition to the greenest and the most affordable pickup truck in the world, we also wanted to make it the safest pickup truck. And the way we do that is we have a very large, since we don't have a large, you know, big block engine in the front, we have a lot of crumple zone up there. And as most people know, that's what really saves you in a, in a head on collision. Also, the battery pack is under the floor between the frame rails, so very low center of gravity uh, for quick lane changes and maneuverability. And we also, if you notice on the grill up there, there are some sensors. So we are in, uh, in the base trim package, we're including automatic braking and lane center. So again, uh, a lot of attention towards um, safety. So we'd like to tell a fleet person this is the safest, greenest, most economical vehicle you can put your people in. And I, I think that's meaningful. Uh, the other thing, real quickly, so you just don't think it's a good looking uh, uh, piece of jewelry up here, uh, it's drivable. We drove it with journalists all day yesterday. Those articles are starting to come out. I think 10 of them came out in the last uh, few minutes since 5 o'clock. So it's, uh, it's, it's designed to be strong. That also, fortunately or unfortunately, makes it fast. It will do 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Not necessarily the most important to fleets, but if it's strong enough to tow and to haul, then if you're on a regular street and you're not towing and hauling, we have a very quick, quick piece to it. Okay, uh, with that said, I'm going to introduce Scott. Thanks, Scott. So thank you, Steve, and uh, congratulations to you and the, the workhorse team. This is a fantastic product, and uh, I can attest to that. Uh, zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds it, it does have great acceleration so you know there's a few times in uh, the, uh, uh, the career uh, us in the industry whenever you can think about you know, dates when certain things happen and I think that uh, this is one of those dates when we'll think back to that uh, evening at the ACT Expo when the W15 product was unveiled and introduced to the marketplace because I really do believe that this is uh, a product that's going to have very broad applicability uh, I think it's going to resonate with the fleets. It's a fantastic technology, and I think as uh, progress is made in moving toward production starting in Q4 of uh, next year, that uh, there's going to be a significant amount of demand. Uh, I know I have already received inquiries from customers today wanting to know how they can order one of these vehicles. So the interest is definitely there. The product is fantastic. We're excited about the opportunity to be uh, the North American service partner and distribution channel for the Workhorse product. And it extends beyond the W15. It includes all of the Workhorse products uh, that are available today. And we're excited about exposing those to our customers. We are excited about including those in our portfolio. And we really look forward to, uh, to all the great things to come. So congratulations again to the group. And, uh, are we ready for people to come, guys?